Hi, this is Marina from the YouTube channel Inspire Me to Be Healthy. There is a lot of talk about B12. Many people are concerned of getting B12 deficient on a vegan and even more on a raw vegan diet. If meat eaters typically have higher blood, blood serum B12 levels than vegans, does it mean that there is no danger of getting B12 deficiency on a meat-based diet? I asked this question an expert on raw foods, Lauren Lockman. Taking a supplement doesn't address the underlying cause of the problem. The deficiency was created for only two possible reasons that I can think of. One, the diet itself was insufficient. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you have an insufficient diet and you take a supplement, you're still going to have other issues that you may not even be aware of. Mm -hmm. They may take a long time to show up, but a, a poor diet that's not giving you what it needs can't be corrected by a supplement. The other, the other possibility is that the bot, you might be eating a perfect diet, and I've seen this over and over again, where people come in, they've been eating an optimal diet. Nothing's wrong with the diet at all. However, they're still not able to get what they need. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one example of this, I mean, this isn't, this doesn't intend to be an example of a perfect diet, but many people are surprised to learn that uh, B12, the rates of B12 deficiencies as indicated by low serum B12 levels are much higher in vegans and vegetarians. Not surprising. What, what, what that says is that people who are not eating animal products are going to have much less B12 circulating in their bloodstream. Well, that makes sense because animal products are loaded with B12. But people that eat animal products have exactly the same of clinical B12 deficiency issues. That is, real conditions created. Not, not that someone is looking at a, a readout saying, oh, your B12 is too low, but that you're actually having problems, you're manifesting issues because of low B12. That happens just as often for people who are eating animal products as it does for vegans. What that means is it's not about how much B12 you're consuming. It's about whether your body is able to actually access and use it properly or not. And so those are the only two conditions that can create a deficiency. If you don't address the underlying cause of the problem, you're, you're not correcting the problem. So you know, again, if we go back to B12, it's true that you might be able to correct uh, many of the issues by taking a B12 supplement. But given that we understand relatively little about the functioning of the amazing human body and, and our nutrition. I mean, it's been estimated that 5 to 10% of our nutrients in plants have even been discovered yet. So if we're correcting a deficiency by taking a supplement and we're not addressing the underlying problem, how do we know that we're actually doing everything we need to do? Well, I would suggest that it's impossible to know that. So using a Band-Aid approach not only doesn't correct the underlying problem, but it actually creates issues. When you give the body a crutch of any kind, it will become dependent on that. If you're taking, taking B12 supplements because your body is not able to get what it, need, what it needs from your, your food or from its own body, then you're going to be, your body's going to begin relying on that readily available source from the supplement and will become less able to get what it needs on its own. There are many people who are predicting a serious meltdown of... Uh, you know, of the system uh, throughout the world. And if the system melts down, you know, what, what if one day you wake up and there's no B12 supplements available? <laughs> you can no longer get them. You know? I mean, I'm, I'm serious. You know, what if, if you're relying on anything that way that you have to get from somewhere else, you're essentially a victim of conditions. Uh, I'm, I'm all in favor of being self-reliance. You know, I, I, as you know I, live, you know, I live in a place where I not only can grow food, I've got mangoes and papayas and bananas and oranges and many other things growing here now and many more that are being planted all the time. Eventually, I won't need to go anywhere to get my needs met because I, it's been nearly 30 years since I've used a supplement, a medication, any substance aside from food. And as I think you know, I haven't been sick a single day in 26 years. You know, so anyone that tells you, well, in today's world you have to take supplements, that's nonsense. If, if you need to take supplements, you know, if someone's listening and you think you have to take supplements to, to feel or function well, 
there's something going on in your body that's not balanced, that could be corrected, okay? Because we're designed to function at an amazingly high level, just like every other species on the planet. Remember, there's no other species that needs supplements. Neither do we. We just have to create the conditions to get what we need from real food. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. Have a great day. Thank you.